welcome back, guys. In the last episode, we put in this uh, this clover leaf. I'm going to be talking about that. Uh, but what are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, in this episode, we're going to be working to get more of the EPEC done. Every product to every city. We're going to try and get, um, I don't know, um, I think tools and machines up in this area. I think that's what we're going to be doing. So, um, the clover leaf. Let's just talk about the clover leaf for a second. Because this clover leaf, it looks really nice. But it's kind of not functioning the way that we wanted it to because they're not using these clover leaves properly. And uh, a lot of you said, oh, Sky, like, all you have to do is just put like two roads. Instead of having a single road, have two roads and make them one way. Right? So one way down here and one way up there. And, and then it'll work. Yet yeah, you can't do that. Right? And um, I'll show you why. I actually replied to a lot of you and said, you can't do that. And a lot of you were like, well, why? Why can't you do that? Um, and it's because of a problem that this is actually demonstrating. Right? Up here, we've got a couple of issues. We've got um, barking to maggle, the road connection is disconnected and from settle to maggle the road connection is disconnected now this is um, this is maggle so this is saying that maggle and barking and maggle and settle are not connected by road right which is a problem uh, I don't know what this problem is I think that'll go away if we you're gonna go away yeah that'll go away eventually anyway the um, the problem is because when you put these one-way sections in, these one-way sections are not actually roads, right? That that section is not a road. It's a it's actually it's a depot. Even though it's working as a road, it's actually a depot. So the game thinks, well, that's not that's not a road connection, um, which is um, which is obviously a bit of an issue. And so it doesn't think there's a connection. Now we can get around this by, for example. I come over here and grab a large country road and put a large country road like hooked up like over here. I want to do it so that it doesn't deform the road too much. Oh, that's not too bad actually there. Go a little bit further. Oh, you will. About there. How does that look? Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Right, now if we do that, right, now we've got a road connection like coming down here and around here into into Maggle. Now the weird thing is that in terms of like bus lines and stuff, if I bring up this, you can see that the bus line is quite happy to go through these depots, right? But the game just doesn't see it as a as a main connection. But now that I've put that in, what we should see is that one of these has gone away. Yes, yes, we've solved the connection to Barking. Right, so um, so we need to do the same thing with um, with settle down there. Now um, it means that I can't I can't really do this. I mean, well I suppose I could by I don't know like putting putting a road going around or something, but that like kind of sorta defeats. Well, I mean, yeah, like these like if I didn't make these one way, then I'd have a connection there. But like there the really isn't a way of kind of doing it in a nice way. Um, like I said, I, I mean, I could put some kind of road going down here and then like connect it up to Barking so that we have got a connection. Um, but yeah, it kind of defeats the object of doing this. So, so we're not going to do that. Right. Um, now, as far as connecting Maggle and Settle is concerned, uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I was originally thinking to put a, put a road going like from, from this road, go down and around following the, the track around there, which would have been really nice. Uh, the problem is that I want to use this. This is a coal mine over here. Uh, and I want to use that coal mine. So I think we're actually going to have a, um, a station going in here. So the road would have to kind of go, maybe cross over to the other side and go down there. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, but, but that's for sorting out later. Okay, let's talk... Um, let's talk industries. And let's see what we can get figured out. So, we have, um, let's see, we've got a tools manufacturing, Peace Haven machine factory down there where we can manufacture tools and, uh, and machines. Um, there really isn't, I mean, there is one over here. So that's like another kind of possible. So, 
barking machine factories are possible. Um, so what I was what I was thinking I was thinking to use this one. So we need we need either we, we need metal and then we need either planks or we need plastic. Well, plastic is a problem because we're just running out of places to produce um, oil. Uh, we're running out of refineries. We just don't have enough refineries around. There are like no refineries around here at all. There's like none, nada, nothing. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, we've got, I mean, we've got that oil refinery, but that's producing fuel for this region. So we can't use that. There is, there is one here, um, but I think we're going to need that for other things. I mean, I mean, I suppose in theory, we could get some oil to that, so some crude oil to that, and then ship that up to here, make plastic. Uh, and we do have this machine factory. Uh, no, that's that's the piece over one. Oh no, that's the, oh no, there are two piece over ones. So I don't know. Like I guess maybe. I'm looking at that one now and thinking, yeah, I could get the plastic there. Um, but what we do have is we have um, we've got like a couple of forests here. We've got um, one sawmill here. We've got another sawmill here. So we could feed two lots of two lots of planks in here. Um, we've got a forest there, so we could get lumber from here shipped around to this one and then back to there, and then we could get like from maybe from this forest up here. That would give us like the two lots of planks for one lot of metal. Um, as far as metal is concerned, so I, I think that's the way we're going to do it. Down here we've got um, Cheshunt Steel Mill. Uh, we need to get, well, I mean there's another steel mill over there. Um, which one am I going to use? It's a good point. I th I'm looking at it now and thinking, yeah, actually, I think I want to use this one. Yeah, yeah, I think I want to use this one. So, Bognor Regis steel mill. Uh, so, we need to get um, coal and iron. Now, coal, we can get over from that coal mine that I mentioned, this one over here. And then iron, all the iron is like over here. There's tons of it. There's, there's, there's iron here, here, uh, there's iron there, there. So I think we're probably going to be pulling it from this one. Yeah, I think we're going to be pulling it from that one. So, but this is going to like kind of create havoc <laughs> with, with our network. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be seriously fun. I am gonna enjoy like ripping all this to pieces. So okay, so for example, we need a we need a station in here, right, to ship the coal. So um so let's start doing it, I guess. Oh, it's time lapse time. I do like a bit of time lapse when I can sit back and relax and just <laughs> just watch what the, what I'm doing. It it's very peaceful. I've got a cup of tea here. I'm all relaxed now. So now I knew that this probably wasn't going to be easy, but this turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because as you can see, there is a huge slope here. Uh, it's actually a, a much bigger slope than I thought it was going to be. So I ended up having to make quite a few adjustments that I hadn't anticipated to, to, to try and get this to, to look and, and kind of work right, because I wanted to keep the track speeds up. And I've never liked that bridge. I've never liked that, that elevated section that was round there. So I wanted to get rid of that. So that actually worked out well. And, um, and the thing ends up uh, looking not too bad. But I decided that it really needed to be angled round to, like, to kind of keep the speeds up and, and have the right look and feel to it. So, yeah, I ended up moving this around and uh, and playing with it in in quite a few ways to kind of get what I ultimately uh, ultimately thought was kind of satisfactory. And it was a lot of um and around because I, it was like like how much do I change and like how much of it is worthwhile and and I ultimately came to the conclusion that it's all worthwhile because if you look at this view down the valley. Um, it's a really nice view down here. So I actually wanted this to be 
to be really good. And I didn't like the fact that there was kind of like that big dip on the left hand side of the tracks. So I got rid of that. And then, uh, and this road ended up going, working out kind of nicely. So this, this is an area that I'm going to spend some more time on because um, it's actually a really nice valley. So, so yeah. So what I'm doing is um, I'm double tracking this down to the next station. Now the next station, the problem with the next station is that um, it's, it's already got six platforms used and there's a truck station next to it. Um, so I couldn't extend the platforms easily, but two of the tracks weren't being used because they, the, they were the old farm food route, um, which, uh, which we're not using anymore because we're, we're, we're dropping it off at um, Cheshunt and then shipping it round. So, big changes. Um, having to move the two sets of tracks that are using the two outside or the four outside platforms and replace them with um, and move them to the two inside pla um, or the four inside platforms uh, which um, which yeah and I like and like with everything I um, I always start looking at it and thinking well you know what that track could be like could come in a little smoother and and I always end up making like more changes than than I absolutely need to, just to try and get kind of the aesthetics of it. And I wanted all of these X's to kind of line up and look good and whatever. I'm, I'm trying to pay a lot more attention to like the general aesthetics. That road, I, I really need to do something about that road because I haven't got around to deciding exactly how that's, how that's gonna extend up. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is bridging that across the tracks and just linking it to the road the, the, the highway that already goes up to the next town. So what I'm doing now, I'm, I'm just, I, was just, I was just checking which platforms are 320s and which are 240s, and there's just one track that's a t uh, one platform that's a 240 uh, on this section. Uh, like Peace Haven and I think Shep Shed are both 240s, but they're way down the track. And then here, what I was uh, what I was aiming to do was try and get these tracks to look a little bit nicer. And I'm still not like 100% happy because like one's fairly straight and one's a bit more curved. So I'm actually, so I was actually doing commentary while I was doing this because I didn't, I didn't think this was gonna take as long as it was gonna take, but it did. Um, so I was actually saying at the time that I think I'll, I'll revisit that kind of offline and maybe try and get those tracks to look a little bit more even. But you'll actually see later on, um, it's actually not, not long after the end of this time lapse section, that um, it all changes anyway, because um, I ran into a problem, which I'll, which I'll talk to you about when, I, when, when we end the time lapse section. So we're coming to the end of, um, of that bit. That bit's all, all done. So now we move on to the next thing. So that's getting the coal to the steel mill. What we're going to work on now is the iron. This is the iron down here. So we need to put in a station down here. Now this I'm going to put in as a terminal station. And um, I was trying to figure out, because I'm on the wrong side of the tracks. So like, how am I going to get across? And originally I was thinking that I would bridge it. But when I looked at it, um, it like a tunnel makes a hell of a lot more sense. And uh, I, I was actually really pleased with how this turned out. Although you will see that subsequently, um, I had to make some some minor changes. Now this I spent a bit of time on because first of all I wanted to get a nice X on this um, and I, I wanted it to be uh, like nice and flat and level so I could get a good X in. Uh, and then I wanted to I, I wanted the, the tunnel entrance. I wanted a little bit more room so that I can get like proper signals in and stuff like that. Oh, it's only like one signal, but I just I just wanted just a little bit of room before I actually went into the tunnel entrance, um, and then like getting the the whole tunnel entrance to look right. Uh, but I think I, well, you'll see now. I think you'll agree. I hope you'll agree that it ends up looking like not bad at all. 
I really like that tunnel entrance. So again, that's another little bit of terrain that I've kind of stored away in the back of my mind of like, mm, I want to spend some time on that and make it look good. Right, so now we're at the steel mill. So now we're going to put in a station um, by the steel mill so that we can bring coal in from one side, we can bring steel in from the other side. But of course, it means I've got to hook it up to this. Now this was again a tricky bit of terrain because it's um, it's on a slope, but it like really it could have done with being curved as well. So what I had to do was was take a curve, uh, take a, a slope station, and then just angle it slightly to get kind of the right uh, the right thing. But like it's all I gotta say, it's all working out kind of nicely. And, and I like the fact that this area is starting to get like just as busy as the area over by Biggles Wave. There's, uh, I mean, most of this is going to be four and six tracks, like at least. Uh, and like towards the end of this, you're, uh, well, uh, towards the end of the video, I'm, I'm starting to talk about the kind of the next phase, uh, and that's. Like when, when we start adding goods into this as well, things could get really, really complicated around this area. I am loving it. I'm loving the amount of trains and the amount of tracks and the, the road networks are starting to develop a bit. Anyway, that's the time lapse. So let me hand you back to normal sky. This is a, I tell you what, we're putting in a lot of extra track. It's going to be a hell of a lot of signaling work to do. Oh, now, this is going to be a freaking problem. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, must admit, I hadn't anticipated this bridge. Okay. Yeah, this bridge is going to have to go. I'm going to have to put a new one in. But I am thinking that because of the... The, the higher terrain on each side that I can do a better job on that bridge do something nicer something flatter so yeah I think for now let's get rid of you now uh, we don't need that connection do we no we don't so let's, let's just get rid of you for now there we go and it does mean that I can probably do something nicer with these tracks as well wow six tracks going down here all right, so, um, yeah, let's do, some, let's do something nicer with these tracks. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I think I've missed a bit of track there as well. <laughs> so good job I did this. Yeah, let's bring you all the way back to there and a bit more yeah there we go that's better all right in fact let's bring you yeah now you're nice and even good so let's join you up as well i i do like when you've got like multiple tracks, when it's like four and six tracks wide. It's kind of cool. Right, um, am I going to put in an extra couple of platforms here? And I think the answer is yes. Don't actually kind of need them, but I think so. We've got catenary high speed, 320, yes. All right, cool. So let's do, uh, let's do the same thing on this side. And I'll run out. A nice little bit of flat straight track. Oh, that's not not quite flat. Let's flatten you. Uh, yeah, flat, please. There we go. Oh, hang on. Are the others actually flat? They're not, are they? No, because this is pointing down. Ah ha ha ha! Right. So what I actually need to do is smooth that off, don't I? Yeah, that's what I need to do. There we go. That should give us pretty much what we want. 
And you. Okay, where are my X's going to? There. Bump. And. Bump. There we go. Oh, that one went in kind of nicely. So. So what I want to do is I want to run my central tracks in. And then run the other two off on either side. So you go into there. Bring the other one back. Cha ching Okay, so where do we want to break off? Um, it's kind of different on both of them, isn't it? Which is not... I don't think this is going to be the prettiest. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there. We'll see. We'll see how that works. And that's there, isn't it? Yeah. And get the other one. I am being, <laughs> I am being very fussy about this now. Yeah, we should be able to get a nice bridge going. Mind you, whether I'll be able to get a bridge going across six, I'll have to like be quite almost perpendicular going across there. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm sure I can come up with something fairly nice. Oh, come on. Thank you. And you go into there. And you go into, oh, come on, there, cool. That's pretty nice. Okay, so now all we need to do is hook these six platforms up to these six platforms. So what I'm going to do is I, I think I'm just going to get rid of this and hook them up directly. So... Let's get rid of all of this nonsense. And we'll just do strike connections. Boom. Because I think it'll be the tidiest way of doing it. Because it's not long enough to bring the tracks together. There's a lot of stations around here, aren't there? This is... It's all getting very, very busy. And that goes in there. How's that look? That looks fine. That looks absolutely fine. And again... See, this is... But this is where it, like, it takes me a lot of time going around afterwards. Like, filling in all these bits and... Is it, yeah, it's on high. Smoothing all these bits of track out and stuff, but it's, I, I do enjoy. It. I really like the doing all the terrain and, and getting the thing all looking nice and smooth. And everything. I'll leave that so that I know that I've got to do that. But all right, cool. And then I've got to do that bridge, and I've got just like so much to do, and I've got all the signalling to do. Right, so do we now have um, everything kind of hooked together? So we've got the steel connected now. So we can now get the iron and the coal to the steel mill. Right, so having made the steel, we then need to get the steel to this. Uh, now, how are we going to do that? Uh, are we going to do it with the steel trains, or are we going to do it with uh, with the with the iron and coal trains? Uh, the thing is, they're not really the right trucks. So let's let me see. We've got that there. What I could do, you know what? What I could do is extend this to to eight platforms.
and have dedicated line extend you to eight platforms. And then let's say, where are you? You're here. It is sloping upwards is the only problem. Okay, well, uh, I think we're yeah, I think we're going to put the station in for this over here. So we'll have um, we'll have a dedicated track for that. Now, hmm, this is. I'm just I'm just what I'm thinking of is okay, fine. So let's say that I have the. Um, those tracks on this on this side, right, going down there. Then would I be better off actually swapping, swapping them and having them on a uh, like further in? Yeah, uh, but yeah, I think I ain't just put in a station like I've done with the others and not worry about it too much. I think it's going to be the best solution. Let's get rid of this stuff. Bum, 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 bum. And this over here. Uh, probably needs to come back another one. And you as well, probably. I think this this tunnel might turn out to be an issue, but we'll see. Um, so what I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take maybe take advantage of this. Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna take advantage of this slope to, to like drop this down a little bit, but I don't know if that's going to be even possible. So if we ran a medium road up here, like now I can drop this down a bit, but I don't, to be honest, I don't think I can drop it down more than that. Can I realistically Let's take you out a little bit further to maybe to about there ish. Let's put you in. Okay, so if we put a station in here, and this is becoming an if now, um, we would want this to be um, six platforms. We want you flipped around like that. Now we're going to want this sloped, aren't we? So we're going to have to bring the terrain down on the far side. Okay, so let's do that. Crank you up, drop the terrain. Right, let's see how that reacts. Oh, we can get that in. Hooray. Okay, so I think we want to spin that round just a fraction more. Like that. Okay, so if we put this station in there, boom, in it goes. Um, this is obviously like too high. So we're gonna have to redo that section. <laughs> A lot of redoing. Um, ah, man. Yeah. Uh, it may be possible that if I take this back to to there, say, because that's are you sloping down. I think I think that's still sloping down at that point. And then if we smooth this terrain off it, ah, no, didn't want to do that. Now let's smooth this off. My God, there's, there's an aircraft going over. It's really loud. It must be flying pretty darn low. It's one of the planes going into Heathrow. All right, there we go. How does that look? Yeah, that's okay. Let's fix that. All right, now let's see if we can get this to to hook up. Like, will it do something decent? So we're going to have an extra set of tracks coming down, sir. So I want to connect the middle tracks into 
these middle tracks here. Well, it works. Yeah, that looks okay, actually, I think. Let's, um, let's hook it up and we'll see. But I think that's okay. Oh, connect up. There we go. Now, it's going to be... Um, these tunnel entrances might not be happy. But we'll, we'll see. Yeah, see, I don't... I, I, these tunnel entrances need to be level. So, I tell you what. Let's... Let's take you back to... Where? Like, is that, is that enough? That might be enough. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So, you to there, you to there. And what we want to do is bring you out just to the point where you make a tunnel there. And the same for you. And then we want to do the two on the other side as well. There and there. Right. Now we can diverge them. Shoop, shoop. That's, that looks okay. Oh, okay. I need to drop that terrain down just a fraction. So... Should be enough, I would have thought. A little bit of luck. Nope. Oh, are you gonna complain? Oh, okay. This, this might not work. This might not work. Ah. I take that one back. Take that one back. Do that again. It's probably, uh, if I bring them out just a fraction, it should solve that problem. Like that. Yeah, then you'll work. There we go. And you. And the speeds are good. We're up over 100 miles an hour, so that's fine. Cool. Oh, liking it. Liking it. All right, so let's um, let's get this sorted out now. So we we'll take this back to I don't know. Because there's no point going all the way around there. Let's bring it back to about there, I think. Yeah, that's fine. So let's see. Do 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 do. So we're gonna have. Two platforms which are just for bringing the steel back from the steel mill to here. Let's turn, let's just turn the, uh, well I've got the industry, so let's just turn the bulldozer off. Yeah, we're so, so we're bringing the steel down from there to there. It's just going to be the steel on the outside tracks. Yeah, okay. All right, I think, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. All right, so you go into there. You go into that one there. Okay. This needs to be changed just a little bit. So let's take you back to, say, about there. And then we're going to have to smooth this off to get, like, a decent... Like tunnel entrance and stuff. So if we do it like that sort of thing. Okay, let's um let's see how that works now. It might not be perfect, but but we'll see. Uh, 
Yeah, I like that. That'll do. That will do. Boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's drop this down. Let's have a quick smooth off of that up to that. There. I think I'll probably end up smoothing that down as well. I don't know. This t I don't know about this tunnel. I may. How, like, how quickly does that go? That goes down. That goes down pretty quickly, which is kind of good. So. I think we could probably afford to smooth that off a bit. Make that look a bit better, yeah. Yeah, that's better. In fact, I think probably the more I take off this top bit, the better, because it creates a better view going down the valley. Yeah, that's better. I, I think I'm going to end up taking even more than that off, though. I can see me taking this down. Not quite flat, but... but fairly flat. Yeah, much better. All right, cool. Okay, so we've got... Um, we've got those tracks, those tracks. We've got the outer tracks, which go from the machine plant to the steel factory we've got yeah we've got all of our lines in now now the only thing that we're not not dealing with at this point is the slag i think um we're gonna have to ship the slag out to somewhere like don't like god knows where um i mean potentially no, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a long way away, wherever the hell it is. But the thing is, we could just ship it out by truck. We can just have it. I don't know. I mean, there's a there's a one down there. We could make some more construction materials, which will get shipped around the place. So, yeah, I think that's probably what's going to happen. We'll ship, the, ship those down to that construction factory. Okay, but the, uh, the main thing is we've got a station for the coal. We've got a station for the iron down there to bring, and we've got all the tracks laid in, and a station for this steel mill. And then we've got the steel mill hooked up with tracks down here through Cheshunt to the machine factory. So we are now able to deliver steel to this factory. Holy hell. I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. Uh, what I will do between this episode and the next episode is um, uh, is put in, put in all the signals and do all the messing around with the terrain and all that kind of stuff. And then in the next episode, we have got to get two lots of planks. So not just not just one sawmill, but two sawmills hooked up. So we've got uh, we've got this sawmill here and this sawmill here. So we've got to get the, the lumber to those two sawmills and then the sawmills into the machine tool factory. And then we can start shipping the stuff up, start shipping the stuff out, which is going to be really, really cool because it, it means we're going to be getting tools and machines to all of these places. Now, these have already got fuel, uh, construction materials and food. So... If we get tools and machines, the only thing left would be goods. And there is a goods factory. In fact, there's, there's, well, there's, there's one over there. But I think, I think I want to use this goods factory over here. Uh, we've, got some, we've got some more coal there. So it'd just be sh like um, ship, some, ship some iron up here. Well, we might do a similar thing. You know, running parallel lines along these tracks and whatever. Uh, and then ship the goods out from there. And then we've got full coverage of this area, all the products. So that would only leave us, I think, with the um, the West Ham, Ashton, Chicksbury, Ashby set of cities to finish off. Um, now, but they've only got fuel going to those four. 
So we've got to do goods, we've got to do machines, we've got to do food, we've got... Oh man, so, like, there's still a lot to do. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had a real blast this episode. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.